And the last uh, three custom reporting techniques I want to show you are um, pulling up an invoice profitability whenever um, I have an inventory item sold. And then another a real tricky one is, you know, how do I pull an invoice profitability for when uh, items are not sold, uh, but they do have a cost component, and, and that's also for inventory. And the third one is uh, for reporting on non-posting costs. So let me start with um, pulling up invoice profitability report whenever I, ha I have inventory sold. So let me start with um, a new invoice here, and then I'll just pick any customer at random. And I'll pick an inventory part. So I'm going to scroll down and do uh, inventory part here, cabinet pools. And then I'll sell 100 of these. And let's say I'm selling them for uh, $25 each. Okay, <clears throat> just, uh, just a quick invoice here. Now when I hit save, okay, and then I hit control Y, okay, that's to to a journal that's going to give me that would allow to give me uh, the cost information on top of the sales information so I've actually I scroll here to the right I can see uh, my cost component in this case is $255 and my sales price is $2,500 however nowhere here I can really just see what my profit is so in order to see what my profit is um, I would go to customize report and uh, click on filters and then I want to make sure that instead of showing all accounts I'm showing income and <clears throat> cost of goods sold so I'm looking for that particular there it is income and cost of goods sold that way I'm just focused on displaying income and cost of goods sold and then I hit OK okay so that we're getting there okay so we need one more uh, component here which is I click go back to customize report and then on the column here I'm going to look for balance and then I click OK and basically this is how you get your profitability the profit on this uh, particular invoice is 2244 the other one is, what if I want to know the profitability of an invoice, but I am not really selling uh, these inventory parts. I'm using them as materials, and what I'm selling is, is just labor. So let's uh, let's pull an example of that. So let me pull up QuickBooks, and let me go ahead and pull up an invoice, and I'll create a new invoice. And then let's say that I'm selling strictly labor, that I'm just selling the, the service. I'm gonna click on installation here, and this is going to be a thousand dollar installation. However, I want to include um, the cost of some of the components of some of the parts that I'm using, but I'm not gonna charge them to my client. So I'm gonna hit uh, the item drop down here, and let's say I'm gonna use some doorknobs, and then I'm also going to use some um, exterior doors and that sort of thing so i'm going to use three of these and four of these now the trick behind it is i don't want to charge my client for it so what i do is here where it says rate i change that to zero and here where it says rate i change that to zero so what i would that what i would do what that would do is avoid including the sales price of those components but because they are being sold uh, the cost is going to be in there so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and then I'll press Control Y, same as the last example. And I'll hit on Customize Report, Filter, and then under Account, I'm looking for All Income and Cost of Goods Sold, same exact example as I used before. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Display and show that Balance column. And then I'll click OK. And I'll just get rid of a couple of columns here. That way it's a lot easier to get to that end result that we're looking at there. So the end result we're looking at is this is my uh, profit on this deal in this case. Well, in this case, it's actually uh, negative because you see that um, profit in this report is shown as negatives. So in this case, $314 of balance is a loss. So this is how I know that I'm actually uh, losing in this deal. And you know, the, the, the only way to really know is through this report. Um, because otherwise I would have had to actually take a look at what's the cost component of these items. So I would have to have gone into the actual item, not this way, but I hit control L. I would have to have gone into each item and see, well, you know, my cost component is $300. So by selling 
four of these that already moves me to $1,200 cost. So unfortunately, because the cost component is not really a uh, part of the, of the invoice. And if you are selling it at zero, you will need that specific report to know. So that was actually a pretty cool example that we actually got a, a losing deal, a losing deal. Okay. The last one I want to talk about is reporting non-posting cost on invoices. So the purpose of this is that I want to, um, record an expense on an invoice for the purpose of knowing my profit, but I don't really want it to affect my books in any way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what I did. So when I go into my list menu and I went into my item list, I actually created two items. Uh, one item, it's a, a service. Okay. So that's very important. That one has to be a service and I created it and I named it non posting cost and I have it uh, going into the cost of goods sold account. And then the other item I created is actually a very similar one. So I'm going to go down. Uh, this one's going to be an other charge. And that's probably the most important component. You, you got to make both of them um, different. So one's a service, the other one's another charge. I call this one uh, pretty similar. I just called it uh, non-posting cost reversal. And then under the account, I put it to cost of goods sold. So what I do with this is I create an invoice and let me just pick a random customer here and I'll pick a service that I'm selling installation. And then, like I mentioned before, uh, this is not uh, really something that I'm actually selling a product that I'm trying to uh, know the cost of it. I'm just trying to register some non posting expenses so then I can later on monitor the profit. So I would use those two items there, this one called non posting cost. And then the other one that I called it non-posting cost reversal. And remember that the second item is an other charge uh, and the first item is a service. So I want to, I want to add a non-posting cost of $375 and I'm going to put that as negative, right? Because in, in an invoice, a positive is income and a negative would be like a cost. And then I'm going to reverse it. Okay. So basically, I'm still going to have a thousand dollar invoice and then I'll show you how to hide those in a second. So I'm still going to have a thousand dollar invoice. So when I click on save and I hit uh, control Y and then I go back to the same principles here, I go to customize report filters and I look for all income and cost to goods sold, right? We're working off the same concept here. Um, however, uh, in this particular case, and let me collapse this, this particular case, um, the positive and the negative are both going to show. And the only way to filter it out, it's now using item filter. So because the, 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 the items that I'm selling are service and the items that I'm including as a non-posting cost are service, what I can do is I can go into item here and I will filter it so it only shows services. So in this case, it's going to filter out the other charge. And then I'll be able to know what, and I just have to make sure that I add that, that last one, because that's the one that calculates my profit. And then by, by doing that, I can actually see that my, my quasi profit, right? The one that I'm just trying to calculate, it's 625. So that's just kind of a, a way for you to do that. Now, unfortunately, if I do this and then I go, print this invoice and show it to my customer. My customer may be very confused about this uh, non-posting cost. So the way to solve this is to create a new item that is a group, and then we'll call this internal cost. And then using this uh, group for internal cost, then I just have to recall those two items that I used uh, as the example here. So I'm going to uh, pick each one and one I put it as a positive and the other one as a negative and that's kind of how they um, they will net out to zero. So I'm going to put this one quantity one and this one actually this the, the cost component will be negative one and the other one will be positive one and then I hit OK. And I can go ahead and just get rid of these two um, that way they're not showing anymore. Okay. And then in here inside the group itself, then I can put the negative 375 and the positive 375 that is going to, uh, in this case, net out to, uh, see, in this case, it should net out to zero. Um, actually, this should be 375. That's already um, the negative one. It's already driving that. So I don't need to put a negative there. So that will drive that to zero. When I do a print preview, 
you will see that that line doesn't show up at all. It just kind of shows that zero there. That's kind of the beauty of, of groups. And when I hit uh, save, and again, I pull the profitability report by hitting a, a control Y and then going into customize. And then I got to pull up the balance filter and then I go to account and I go to all income and cost of goods sold. And, you know, I think we, we beat this one, um, this dead horse <laughs> um, pretty deeply. So uh, it should be pretty obvious by now that I, I really uh, like <clears throat> this uh, this style of, of custom reporting. Um, so by doing that last one, then I get to see it. So this is basically, in a nutshell, one of my favorite um, custom reports to build, which is using the inner work, workings of an invoice and the items uh, to create reports that you couldn't pull in any other way.